hello guys welcome to my channel if you are facing this issue no boot device found press any key to reboot the machine whichever laptop you are using dell hp acer or lenovo laptop this video is for you so how to troubleshoot this issue make sure you have knowledge about the boot key on your laptop okay so in hp laptop the boot key will be f10 or the escape key and in the dell laptop it will be f12 okay and in the lenovo it will be f12 again and you can also search on the google so first make sure you turn off your system first this or you can press ctrl alt delete button together like this and and press f12 key continuously like this hit the bios key continuously and the option you will get like this so in this case you need to scroll it down and look for bios setup this option bios setup and hit enter once you click on bios setup you will see the screen like this so let me zoom with this option so you will see the screen like this first go to boot sequence here okay and make sure the internal sdd is selected here this option internal sdd is on the priority if other one is on the priority you can change it with the up arrow key like this internal sdd and it is on the priority key make sure all the tick like this and legacy support is selected here then click on apply and click on exit and check whether the issue is solved or not this is the first step you can try this ok but still getting the same issue again control alt and delete button together press it and again press the F12 key like this and again we are going to BIOS option you need to again look for BIOS setup this option hit enter so again we are on a same page go to boot sequence this time again ok in the boot sequence this time choose the UEFI mode if you are already using UEFI you can choose it to legacy option I have already told you about this click on UEFI option and make sure the hard drive is selected here you can see here the hard drive Jebronex I am using here then click on apply and before that you need to make sure that the go to this option go to SATA operation under the system information and AHCI is selected here ok make sure it is not disabled click on selected option here and after that you need to click on exit option now it seems like the window is booting now ok the problem is solved now if your problem is solved then well and good if still not solved so we can move to the further method let me restart my system and press again F12 key like this continuously hit once the screen is blank and look for BIOS setup ok so we have successfully changed our boot sequence as well as UEFI change both option here make sure the enable legacy room is selected here on the UEFI ok when the UEFI is enabled you need to make sure that enable legacy option is supported here and tick here the other thing you need to check that change your date make sure the time and date is correct here ok this is the other method in many cases if the date is wrong and the time is wrong you are going to face this issue as well 
after that go to security option here after that go to power management option and click on wake on LAN make sure it is disable ok make sure it is disable and if not disable it sometime it is bought by the LAN or the other thing so you can disable this option once you check all the option are ok here you need to click on this option load defaults ok or if you are getting the any kind of like factory reset option here you can choose that but in Dell laptop it is not showing here in the HP laptop you should see that option click on load defaults in the Dell laptop click on ok ok and then click on exit and your issue will be fixed so hope your issue is also fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching